Hello guys, how are you all doing? Hope you're fine. Even though I'm not fine, but I still choose to share my moments with you guys. Forgive me because today I'm a bit low. I don't have the energy that I always have, guys. I am sick. Actually, I wanted to show you this. Here is the medical form. Now, this is a treatment from the, the result, the lab results. Is this? So I did a test on uh, second. You can see second of, of October, and they got that I have typhoid. You can see reactive blah blah these medical forms i don't understand very well. medical terms i don't get it very well but this is all i know that i have typhoid so guys i've been given some medication I'm, i've actually started swallowing plus also some appetizer here because i lost appetite i don't have energy so i've actually been down for some days though you didn't know but i choose to share it also with you guys so the doctors advise that i should be taking a lot of fluids water juice anything fluids so guys, I'm going to make some juice and yeah, I decided to just let you know that I'm not fine. So please be praying for me that I get fine. So let's make some juice, but I think we should first go and get some lemon from the garden. And then we come and make, this is passion fruits right here. So I don't have a passion fruit tree or something home, so I always, I just bought this. Now let's go get some lemon since I have them in the garden and then we come and mix in the passion fruits. So I hope I really get well guys. I've been missing you also for some days now. <laughs> Let's go and get some lemon already. Okay. You know, there's a way that you guys cheer me up. Uh, you've made me smile, you know. <laughs> I've been so off mood, like my moods have been like, I think for the past two or three days. But there's a way if I interact with you guys, it, it lifts me up, it, it makes me feel better you know like i feel healthy again so you just made me smile so thank you very much the height issues here guys the real ripe orange i mean lemons are really high and the, they're the ones that really give me good juice these ones down are not very mature but you can see the like the other yellow one up there you might not see but my eyes can see <laughs> those are the ones i want but now whole problems Because I also don't need a lot of uh, lemon by the guys, I also have ulcers. Oh, <laughs> life is just not nice sometimes. So I don't also need a lot of lemon. I'm going to just add in, to just give me some little taste. There's a way I, I lost taste in my mouth because of appetite issues.
so guys how it all started it was on second which was a uh, saturday i woke up and felt mm, extremely cold extremely cold and then i i didn't even get out of bed immediately and then there's a way i always take like, my morning bath i always use rain water but we collect rain water <laughs> so i always use rain water for bathing now i did the same that morning and all oh my before even i finished bathing I was shivering with a lot of goosebumps all over me. The coldness was just extreme. I just ran back to bed immediately. And the headache was something else. Oh my god. The pain was excess. At least right now I even talk well. I even smile. I was doing bad. I think the, the last two, three days I was so down that I could not even step up, do anything. So I went to the hospital immediately. Uh, that very morning and did I ran some tests malaria typhoid what you know those simple simple tests they eventually they they gave me the results that showed that I have typhoid so they gave me some medication and yes I've been taking it and I can tell I'm feeling better so now that you know I'm sick please pray for me let me feel even better sooner <laughs> because I can't wait to start sharing my life with you guys again so guys, that's the reason I'm here making juice today. The doctor said I should be taking a lot of juice, a lot of water as I take the medication. Like I showed you, that's the medicine. So I already took my morning dose. I'm supposed to take again at around midday. Yeah. So I'll make this juice, take some, again take some in the evening, just in the middle of the day as well. Like that. Hopefully I'll be fine. <laughs> I add in the sugar because I'm going to be rubbing it like this and you know the roughness of the sugar brings out the juice really fast so if you put in sugar it makes it easier so you can have a look the juice is actually coming out and good enough the passion is actually the passion fruit is a good one, it's more juicy. So I realized typhoid is brought by taking dirty water. Now I don't really, now I'm even scared of drinking this water again, but I have no option. You know that borehole where we get our drinking water from? It's the same water I've been taking and I wonder how I really got it, guys. Unfortunately, I have no option, but I'm going to use the same water from the same borehole to make the juice as well and also continue drinking. So I really don't know where I got this typhoid from, but at least from my knowledge, borehole water is not really dirty. So I don't know, but I'm just going to continue using it like hopefully it is not the one which gave me the typhoid. Let me add in the lemon. I 
as you can see the lemon is also more juicy so i'm also not going to do much i told you earlier on that i have ulcers so i think i'm only adding two i don't want it to be too sour Let's test if the sugar is fine. <laughs> a bit sour. Let me just add in some little sugar again. So guys, I'm going to be taking this juice throughout the day. And maybe also again tomorrow. Because I'm still left with some some fruits here and of course lemon is just here at my reach so anytime I can go pick I'll be checking this and hopefully I get fine guys please pray for your girl and let me know if there's any other thing I can do apart from just what I'm doing or if there's any other juice I can make just to feel better guys because who I can't wait to get back on my feet you know thank you for watching pray for me to get well <laughs> otherwise I'm also trying so much to finish my medication and of course to follow the instructions from the doctor to take a lot of juice and also water guys thank you